What did they call it now? Yes, and um, and I find that quite interesting. But we have to name as Ministry of Women Affairs so that attention can be given to us. So I hope and pray that as future leaders of Nigeria, you will all, will, on your return home, bring with you such noble ideas and examples of, as you have gathered here in Finland to be implemented for the betterment of our nation. In conclusion, I say to all Nigerian women, now the time has come for us to rise up to the challenges and take our rightful place in social, political, and economic realities of the time. This is imperative so that the labor of love of our heroes past and present may not be in vain. Once again, I commend the organizers of this forum and congratulate all of us here on the attainment of the age of 50 for Nigeria. And I pray that Nigeria will grow from strength to strength and then we'll see more development and for Ross that came here on your invitation, we, each time I come to Finland, this will be my third visit, I always have something to take back. And I think the person in charge of uh, the environment is here, he came in this, uh, this evening with his wife, and I know Finland has been a support to the progress we have in Lagos State today. And I think there's always new ideas to take back with us. And um, we want to really thank the Finnish people for their warm, warm hospitality. Despite the problem I had at the airport this morning, the gentleman at the immigration was really, really wonderful. And as usual, I guess that's part of the Finnish hospitality. So I would say God bless Nigeria, God bless Finland, and God bless all of us. Thank you. They have actually helped me with, I didn't want to talk about the foundation, but with materials I'm going to share with you later. I have little stuff I've done in the past. I didn't want to take much of your time. It's a non-formal evening. So, you know, Finland is a country that is very, very close to my heart. Thank you very much. Thank you. And speaking of Finland, we have Finnish foods to offer you. And of course, salmon is a mainstay here in Finland with the black bread and the white bread. So I hope you all will make yourself at, at, at home, but maybe not best. <laughs> Do you have comments about um, the, the program so far today? If anyone has any comments or wants to address the podium, please be feel, feel, feel free to do that. I can bring the microphone to you. Did anyone learn about things that happened in Finland? Did, was it true that Finland that gave the women the first vote? The first, yes. see, women got the vote first in Finland, even before the United States. I'm sure someone has something to say here. I'm going to pick up Ajivan. Ajivan, do you have something to say? This is a women's day, but you'll do. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, actually, I've always been working with women since I came to Finland. I work with Cassandra, which is like uh, uh, an organization which, which empowers uh, the female artists in Finland. So I'm always in support of female. Uh, and there's, this reminds me of a song, actually, in my dialect, which I came with. And uh, it's always in my head every time uh, I walk around the street. Uh, it's about uh, uh, a poor woman. Uh, back in Africa and uh, she has an only daughter and the husband is there a long time ago, she's challenging and the daughter comes to her and says, hey, mommy, uh, this girl, our neighbor, the mother bought us some new, beautiful, nice shoes, can you buy it for me? And the mother says, oh, my daughter, what? See, I don't have money, you can see we are managing. The little food that I've prepared for you, go and eat. Go take your shower, eat the food. I'm going to sing the song. This is what she told me. My diet, the Calabar diet. Kere mo kuri duge, kere mo kuri duge ba, kere mo kuri duge ba, kere mo. 
Minna Kang had um, uh, Turia, yes, on. Lux. Lux. Oh, thank you. Lux. Because her father at that time, the shop was very, very uh, successful and they had the money. So that was the reason she had the opportunity to study uh, more. But the school for young girls at those times uh, was the school where needlework was very, very important role. And at those times, people thought that for young girls, it was not healthy to study mathematics or physics or too much history or geography. So they had uh, a bit of foreign languages, German, French, 